Hey, it's Adam Mills with Mills Ammunition at the Reloading Bench today. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to help Mills Ammunition keep our doors open, lights on, check on over to www.millsammunition.com. Get you some of these good looking t-shirts, subscribe, and more importantly, check out our ammunition. So here's what we're going to do today. Um, our ammunition particularly is, I, I, I spent a lot of time figuring out what the cleanest burning powder I can use for our semi-automatic and our, our, our pistol rounds. So we have found that. Um, but nonetheless, I am uh, very meticulous about my guns. Um, there are folks who are not, God bless you. God bless you. This, this might not be for you. Or maybe it is. Maybe it is. So we're going to look at a product today. Hoppies number nine, foaming bore cleaner. Um, what I'll tell you about this is it is claimed to be one step, no harsh scrubbing, effectiveness indicator. Effectiveness indicator means that when you go to pass your patch, uh, you can tell by the color uh, that's coming out uh, what kind of filth you have in that barrel. Uh, we'll talk about that in a bit. But regardless, one step I think is kind of interesting because one, one step is, you're, you're, it's America, you, you can certainly use one step. I don't think, in my humble opinion, and I think you'll see this, I don't think a one step, uh, I, I take it one step further. Now, you're welcome to, to, to uh, live on one step and see where it takes you, God bless you. This particular Glock is a 21C. So it is a fluted compensated barrel. Uh, what I'll tell you about this particular gun at this point, it's had 150 rounds through it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, take a look inside that barrel, see what it looks like right now. Um, the directions for our Hops 9 is pretty simple. Uh, you are to wait five minutes. They don't want it going down um, a, a hot barrel. Uh, so wait five minutes, uh, then you shoot it down into the barrel, uh, wait 15 to 30 minutes, we'll give it the benefit of the doubt, let that good scrubbing happen. So we'll go 30 minutes and we'll see what it looks like after one pass and we'll probably have to keep going for a little bit. So uh, stand by, I think you're going to dig this and we're going to figure out how good this hops number nine is. So let's start with taking a look inside that barrel, see what we got. All right, we have our bore scope, which to be to the point is either the greatest purchase you will ever make or the worst. <laughs> if you like clean barrels, it's probably not the greatest purchase, or it could be because you will figure out that your gun barrel is probably not as clean as what you think it is. Uh, we do use, uh, in our nine millimeter, we use, um, I always start with the barrel upside down. With our nine millimeter, we use polymer coated bullets. Uh, so there's no copper fouling. With our 45 right now, we are using standard full metal jackets. So you're gonna see some copper in this bad boy. So we're gonna take a look down here. Um, and we're just gonna follow these grooves. Uh, the Glock has the polygonal uh, grooves, a little bit different than what most other uh, pistols are running. But we'll just kind of run down here. Um, it'll take a little bit of time. You'll see there's the, uh, Let's go down here and you can see where that carbon's kind of built up a little bit. Um, again, what I'll tell folks is, is that, you know, the biggest thing that, or not the biggest, but, but an important factor with powder is you want all the powder to be burnt um, as the round is going down, as the bullet's going down the um, barrel. Um, and then when you, when the bullet exits the barrel in a perfect world, all that powder is gone, right? It's been burnt. Um, and that's, uh, that's a, t that's not always the easiest task, but, um, it is what it is. Uh, but that's what you try to do. And that's when a lot of folks, um, if you see big fireballs coming out of your barrel, that's no bueno. That means you got a bunch of powder, um, that, uh, did not get burnt. And there's numerous reasons, not too many, but you know, one thing is you, you know, charge was too big for your application. Um, so you can get a general idea of what we're looking at here. Uh, let's take a look and uh, see what happens after we throw this hoppies down there. Now this is what I do like. And I'll tell you part of my cleaning process. Um, but 
what I do like is, is the ease of what we're fixing to do right now. So we've got our barrel, we've got our hops. All we're going to do is give her a shaky, 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 shake. Take her in there. Make sure it's coming out of all the ends. We're good there. And next thing we got to do is wait 30 minutes. Easy. The light work. Okay, so we're getting ready to run our patches through. So let's take a look at what kind of colors to expect. So if you see blue, that's going to be your copper. Um, the, that's a blue color. It's, it's very evident. Uh, carbon um, it comes in, in brown. And anything that you see is black is, is powder fouling. Um, so that's pretty much the three colors that you see. Uh, and we're going to see those for sure. All right. So what I'll tell you is, is this uh, clean rod is a pro shot rod. Uh, I'm a big fan of pro shot. Uh, so let's see what we got and this there, there's a couple different ones this one here does not have a brass tip That's just the uh, jag goes right into it um, This is my favorite one switch over. We've got our 45 jag little brain fart uh, These are Vortec well, Let's see what we got there <laughs> Take a couple more patches through, see what we're getting. Expect to see. Hmm. That's what we got. We'll take one more. Again, black. All right, that's enough. Let's go take the bore scope, see what we did. So what I can tell you is, is, is there's improvement, right? But look, it's still, it's still pretty, pretty carbon fouled. Um, but I mean, there's definitely some areas that are now clean, right? We can see some shiny in there. We certainly didn't see that uh, upon our first go at it. I'll tell you this too, and I think this is very, very important. I keep my stuff perfect, uh, as perfect as I can get it. And what I'll tell you is, is that when you're starting from a, a point of perfection, um, you, you're, you're going to have a better result. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, we'll put another go of the Hoppies number eight foaming gel. We'll give it 30 minutes and we'll see if we get a better result an improving result. We are on our second go of it. Let's see what we get out of it this time. So we're still getting some black. Uh, what's interesting is, is we didn't see any copper fouling. That's that good Mills ammunition, I guess. We're still getting black. Uh, I don't see much brown. Uh, black, of, of course, is powder. Uh, the brown is carbon. That's our boom, boom, boom. I mean, honestly, I don't know that we're getting a ton more. We're getting, I mean, it's not like the first one. We got all kinds of stuff out, and now we're, it seems pretty consistent, right? Maybe it's just layer after layer. All right, let's go run the bore scope. All right, let's take a look at the uh, second pass here. Now we'll start from upside down. Uh, we most definitely see, I'd say we see improvement, but you can see there's just a lot of um, you know, real carbons just left left in there still. Um, and this is after uh, two passes, and we'll uh, compare them both. You can see it gets real chunky here. Uh, 
and that's really what we're going to see throughout. Uh, so that's uh, two treatments of the hops. See how crusty that is right there. The old ring. And uh, that's kind of that. So I do have a process and it does involve the hops foaming bore cleaner when I do clean my barrels. Um, but what we're also going to do here is just kind of show you uh, what else is out there. So this is Carb Out. Uh, this is a product by Sharpshooter uh, Precision Production. Uh, I use a lot of their stuff. Um, so let's just do follow the directions. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to take a patch of it. Um, and we're going to get a, this is a Pro Shot two inch round pack with a pro shot um, rod uh, and a uh, Bortec jag. So all we're doing here is we're just running that um, carb out in there uh, and we'll just kind of mop it if you will, kind of like what you would do with the shotgun. Uh, but we just want to make sure we get that good and coated in there um, and uh, we'll let her sit for, for five minutes and we'll come back and run a clean patch through. And then uh, we'll take a, a look at it with the bore scope and uh, we'll see kind of the differences. That stuff's all still in there, right? I obviously did not get that. So that's just, just running the car out. That's not even after it's sat, that's just letting it go. So we'll let her sit for about five minutes uh, and then we'll uh, run a clean patch through and uh, take her over to the bore scope. All right, so we've gone about five minutes. Let's go ahead and get a clean patch through it. Then look, we're going to get too much material. We'll go ahead and pass a patch of alcohol through That's a dry patch and we'll go uh, look on the bore scope and see what we got. All right, let's check a look and see what we got. Here, here's what I'll say. There's still stuff there, right? But um, the improvement of just running like a carb out is uh, pretty phenomenal, I think. Um, there's still stuff in there, right? Um, in the uh, the uh, lands. And the grooves. Um, but it is uh, significantly better. If we, if we get real close in, we can start seeing stuff like that right there. Um, and that's kind of the cruddy stuff. Um, and we'll, we'll get that. Uh, it's not going to be on this video, but, um, you know, my, my point is, is that the bore cleaner's got a, got a part to play. Um, but it, it, to say it's a one-stop shop, I, I, I don't see it that way, but you know, what works for me might, may not work for you. Um, I like my stuff, you know, really perfect. Um, you know, I always looked at it like, you know, F-class F -class shooters. I, I get that we're talking about pistols, but I know like F-class shooters or bench rest guys, you know, it's imperative that they keep their stuff perfect, right? Um, so I try to do do the same. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously I'm getting a lot more rounds through before I do a, a real solid cleaning than like a bench rest guy would do uh, on the rifle side of things. Um, but... I always kind of look at it like if you were to ever need your pistol, like really, really need it um, and be in a situation where you don't have, um, you know, 
you're going to put a bunch of bunch of rounds through it. Uh, it's always better, in my opinion, to start from a fresh slate. Uh, you can uh, obviously go longer um, if uh, if need be. So uh, yeah, that kind of sums it up. And uh, appreciate you watching. Met a girl downtown at the bar last night, and we got to talking. <laughs>